Hi everyone, welcome to Electrics. In the last video, I have discussed Shannon's expansion and a problem based on that concept. Uh, today in this video, I would like to as a continuation of that same concept, I would like to do one more example. Uh, so, this particular question is a question from ISRO 2017 exam conducted for electronics and engin electronics engineering stream. So, let us see the question. The question is a logic circuit is given and the inputs are A, B and C and we need to find the output expression Z and there are four options given and we need to pick the right answer. So, let me try this particular problem using the concept of Shannon's expansion. Okay. Now, for that if you remember the previous video, you, you will understand your z is a function of what? You have to write your fun z as a function of the input variables a, b and c. Now, once you do that, by Shannon's expansion, your output z of a, comma, b, comma, c can be expanded as you can take any variable outside. For this particular problem, I am taking the variable a outside because of a reason. I will explain that why I am taking A outside. Uh, it is advantageous to take A outside. You can take B and C also, but you will still get the same answer, but you will not get the same reduction of steps uh, as compared to uh, selecting A outside. So, for this example, again I am taking the variable A outside. So, and by taking A outside, first in the complemented form A bar, then the function has to be the the variable the argument a has to if, if you are taking a bar outside the argument a has to be replaced by 0 and the variables b and c are as it is then or you take the same variable a in the normal form then the function z of a comma b comma z but in place of a since you are taking the normal form outside now in place of a you have to replace it by 1 and b and c are as it is. I hope it is clear up to this one this is a statement of the Shannon's expansion and we are expanding using the variable a. Now from this point onwards how does this help in reducing the steps look at this uh, the first thing is to notice that how do we calculate z of 0 comma b comma c and what you need to understand is z of 0 comma b comma c is nothing but this function when the argument a is made equal to 0. Now, how do I do that? I can make a equal to 0 here and after making 0 whatever output I calculate here whatever output I am getting here will be nothing but the expression for z of 0 comma b comma c. And you can easily see that you will just uh, see in a short while that it is very easy to get this particular output. Why because say this since a is equal to 0 and if you observe this a is connected to a, an AND gate here and this a is also connected to an AND gate here. Now that makes things very simple because one of the input of an AND gate is 0. So immediately you can write the output of that AND gate is equal to 0 and similarly for this AND gate also one of the input is directly 0. So the output here is also equal to what this is also equal to 0. So, now we have an OR gate with two inputs as 0 and 0. So, an OR gate with 0 or 0, this will be the output will be equal to what 0. So, it, it is straightforward that uh, since A is connected to both AND gates, you immediately get, so mind calculation, the output is equal to 0. So, this particular, this particular expression is nothing but it is equal to 0. So, you can write this one is A bar and 0. Then there is one more term we need to evaluate that. Now that is also easy to evaluate not, not very difficult. So you have A. Now how do we evaluate Z of 1 comma B comma C? Exactly same as this one. For Z of 1 comma B comma C you have to replace this A by 1. Now whatever output you are getting here that will be your Z of 1 comma B comma C. Let us see how we will evaluate that. Now, once you set A is equal to 1, this input is 1. Now, look at this. What is other input to this AND gate? 
uh, definitely one the last input is uh, b the the line b is directly connected to this particular and gate so this particular line is b then we have c here c is connected to a not gate so c connected to a not gate will result in c bar this is c bar and a a is equal to 1 so this input is 1 now you have 1 and c bar connected to a nand gate what is the output of the nand gate it is 1 and c bar whole bar that is c bar whole bar that is c so now you have a and gate with three inputs 1 c and b and the output here is equal to b c now if you look at the other and gate again here what are the inputs to this particular and gate a is equal to 1 so a is equal to 1 right then you have c you have c connected and you have b directly connected so the input to this particular and gate is 1 b and c so the output is again b c now you have an OR gate with both the inputs equal to what BC. So what is your output? It is BC or BC that is equal to what? That is equal to BC, right? Now, so we have got what, what we need that is that 1 comma B comma C that is equal to BC. So this particular term is gone because A and 0 is 0 or ABC. So the final answer is going to be equal to what? this is this expression is nothing but a b c so your final answer is going to be equal to a b c option b is the right answer i hope this method is clear to you right and one more thing i just said before stopping i just want to clarify one thing why i am taking this variable a outside rather than b and c that is it doesn't matter which variable you take but uh, there is uh, one thing you can you can remember just by intuition you can understand as A is connected to maximum number of AND gates. So it is it is very much possible that in one of the calculation there are there is a chance of many outputs going to 0. So that is a little time you can spend in spend in selecting the input variable that will help you a lot in reducing the steps involved in this particular procedure right okay thank you so much.